Hey, what's up, it's Pat here. And wouldn't it be great if you could generate money on autopilot? Well, that's what we call passive income. And it's sort of the holy grail of income generation because you don't need to do a lot of work in order to generate an income, but it takes a lot of work to get to that point. If you're expecting five simple strategies to make money tomorrow passively without doing any work, then I'm sorry, goodbye. This is not the place to get that. I wanna tell you the truth about how all this stuff works. I've been doing online business since 2008 and everything from helping people pass an architectural exam, teaching other people how to build a website. I even started a business helping people start a food truck. I even co-invented a physical product that's for sale. I've written books and I've made online courses as well. In total have generated over $6 million since 2008. But it didn't happen overnight. There was a lot of struggles along the way, but I'm here to give you a shortcut so you can start generating income sooner than later. With each of these five strategies that I'm gonna share with you, I'm gonna teach you what this thing is. Number two, I'm gonna share with you why this is important. Number three, I'm gonna share with you how this all works. And number four, I'm gonna share with you the first steps and the other requirements that you might need in order to make it work. And again, none of this starts off passive. That's kind of the end game here, but I wanna share with you what is possible and how to get started. So eventually you can get that passive income coming in so you can use it as a side hustle, perhaps something full time to do whatever it is you wanna do or create that freedom of time and money. And no, you don't necessarily need a huge audience right now or a giant social following. No, you don't have to have business experience either. But yes, you need to understand and the principles of what makes all of this work. The ability to have you help other people. All good businesses come as a result of you helping others. And so all these five strategies entail just that. Serving first, helping others, and getting paid as a result. So let's not wait any longer. We got first up, number one, affiliate marketing. Have you ever recommended a product or a movie or anything to a friend or a colleague? That is something that you can do and get paid for, recommending some other company or some other person's product in exchange for a commission if you help make sales. The money comes from the company, it's not any additional cost to the customer. Typically it's done online through an affiliate link that you can get for a specific product that you then share with others. Anybody who goes through that link makes a purchase, you can get a commission. You can be an affiliate for products on Amazon through Amazon's Associates program. Did you also know you can be an affiliate for Target or Walmart or Lowe's or Home Depot? You likely have products that you use or your audience already uses that you could just recommend to more people and potentially even get paid as a result. The way to approach this would be to be the person who recommends the best products out there, right? You're actually offering value to somebody by cutting through all the noise, filtering all the information and all the options out there and telling an audience of any size, here's the thing that you should be using because it'll help you do X, Y, and Z. Ultimately, you're helping people save time and relieving them from the headache of finding information or products and services that can help them. Because of that, you can get paid. So this always starts with what matters most? What are the pains and problems of your target audience? Picking a specific group of people or having a conversation with one person and knowing what they need help with, finding a product, understanding what their needs are, letting them have it through an affiliate link to keep track. And then again, that company might pay you as a result. There are affiliate programs for almost anything. Not every company has it, but you can go and find it on their website or even reach out to them to see if they have an affiliate, referral, or partner program that you could join. Then in order to get found, you can even create YouTube videos to show people how to use these certain products. You can mention your experience on social media, or you can even write blog posts or create podcast episodes, maybe even invite that product owner on your podcast and interview them to build even more trust. Most important thing, always disclose the affiliate relationship. That's really important, especially by FTC rules. Start out small, find one product, begin to recommend it, and you can build and grow from there. Number two, let's talk about advertising and sponsorships. This differs from affiliate marketing because you're not getting paid every time a person clicks through a link and then purchases something. You're getting paid just to allow this company to show up where you exist and your target audience exists too. You're giving people exposure and you can get paid for that. Now, obviously you would need some sizable audience in order to make this happen, but it might not be as big as you think. In fact, a lot of companies might wanna work with you because you have a small, tight group of people who are following you, not necessarily the largest audience. So the way this works is a company that you work with will essentially pay you money to have you either read something off or show something on the screen in exchange for that money. They might give you the exact things to say, or they might give you the ability to sort of free flow a little bit and talk about your own experiences with that product too. There's varying levels of this. You can just have a brief little mention, for example, a 30 second podcast spot, or you could have an entire video created supporting that product and that company in exchange for money. So what are your first steps? Well, first of all, you wanna build some sort of audience and become known for something because when you become the go-to person in a space, a lot of those companies will wanna go to that go-to person to get in front of their audience. You might actually reach out to these companies 
companies or you might find that they're reaching out to you. And then from there, you could strike a deal and you might find that you might make some money. How does this become passive? Well, you can set up these deals ahead of time and have people stay on for months. And all you have to do is just read your scripts like normal, or you might feature that company as many times as you've agreed on. And yeah, you can go from there. You can find as many advertisers as you want. You don't want to have your podcast or your blog or your YouTube channel be full of ads where they don't, they're not even getting content anymore. So there's a balance there. It's going to take some trial and error. Again, you're serving your audience by sharing products that make sense for them. And you're making money because you're also serving those companies and you're giving them eyeballs and ears that they couldn't get otherwise. Next up, selling your own products and services. And if you have a small audience, this is actually much easier and better to do than advertising and sponsorship because you actually have the advantage here. You have a smaller, tight-knit audience. You can have conversations with them. You can know exactly what they're struggling with, what they need help with, what their challenges are. And if you provide even just one solution to just a few people, you can start to build that business and begin to start making your way toward passive income. Like I said, pretty active to start, but you can begin to automate this over time. So what does this look like exactly? Well, it could be something like the Switch Pod, which my partner Caleb and I built to help people in the YouTube space with their vlogging, a lightweight tool that we built, we prototyped it, we worked with those YouTubers and vloggers to understand what they would need. We built it and then we launched this on Kickstarter in February, 2019 to $415,000 in backing in just 60 days, which was pretty dope. So that's an example of a physical product. Then you have other kinds of products like perhaps a consultation or a coaching program of sorts. Take for example, my coach, Jeff. I hired him to help me with my physical training. We get on FaceTime three times a week, he's there. We work out together and he's holding me accountable. And that's something I'm totally, totally happy to pay him for. No, it's not passive, but Jeff is considering different ways that he can scale this up and maybe teach groups of people at a time or even create other products and programs to serve that audience too. You can find Jeff at totalbodyconstruction.com. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate you. Bruh. In this case, you are solving problems once again. So your first and most important step is to pick a group of people, a niche, a market, and dive into that, understand exactly what they might need help with. Use a lot of the strategies that I talk about in my book, Will It Fly, to do customer research, to know exactly what they need help with, the exact language that they're using, and just start with one person. Help solve one person's problem. Yes, again, very active, but that's gonna teach you so much. And then you're gonna be able to understand how to automate this, have a process behind it, maybe even have other people help do this too. And that's how you can take these very active things and turn them more into passive situations down the road. You know, when I coach a lot of people, one of the first questions they ask me is, Pat, should I create a book first? Should I create an online course? Should I create a coaching program? I can't answer that question because you haven't taught me anything about what it is that your audience needs. How do they wanna receive that information? What are their biggest struggles? So again, that's the first step, figure out what that is. And again, you have an advantage if you're just starting out because you can get directly into the people who it is that's following you already, whether it's connecting on social media, through an email list or what have you, go start there. And I'm promising you, you're gonna find out a lot of things that you can do to serve them and get paid back as a result. All right, next number four, exclusive information. So yes, information packaged in a way that is convenient for people to consume and transforms them in one way or another. That's key there, that transformation. So I'm talking things like a book perhaps, but even higher level, an online course, or even something like a paid newsletter. If you have a group of people who wanna know how to do something or need information, you can package up that information and sell it. For example, my online course, Power Up Podcasting, that's generated over a million dollars since 2017. One of my friends, Todd Tresseter from financialmentor.com, he takes all this amazing knowledge he has about finances and retirement income and whatnot, and he packages it into books on Amazon that drives people into not just book sales, but also sales for his higher level online courses too, and he's selling information in that way. Dude, I even know people who are selling information about investing in Pokemon cards because People who invest in Pokemon cards are weird, like me. As long as you know this information is helpful and you can tie in exactly how this is gonna help people and how it's gonna transform them, you can get paid to get access to this information. Online courses are really great. This is a proven model. Many, many more people are learning online these days. If you're gonna set up an online course, I'd highly recommend checking out Teachable, which is a company that I advise. They help you create an online course, be able to charge for it and whatnot. Uh, if you wanted to charge for something even simpler, like a newsletter, I'd recommend checking out ConvertKit, which you could charge people to get access to, or just build your email list in general. All the affiliate links and stuff are in the link below for that. Thank you again. There's an example of affiliate marketing, by the way. And yes, I do get paid as a result if you go through those links. So 
Thank you. So we're seeing this in all different kinds of ways now, but exclusive information that would help people in one way, shape or form, that's something of value. Therefore you can get paid for it. And this is much easier to automate because you might just need to get people to sign up. You might be able to get found through search engine optimization. Maybe you have advertising running for you in the background, feeding people into these things and bringing you that passive income over time. Fifth, we're gonna talk about fan support. No, I'm not talking about ceiling fans. I'm talking about your fans, people who will want to support you because they love your art, your craft, your work, whatever it is that you do. There are people out there when you provide value, they're going to want to pay you back in some way, shape or form. There's some ways that are easy to do like YouTube. If you were to build a following here, you can also show up live and have people offer you money through super chats, which is something that I've had experience too, which is really fun. On a higher level, you could sign up for something like Patreon where your fans, your patrons could pay you a monthly fee to get access to you in different kinds of ways and access to different components of your business or other things. I know a lot of people making mid five figures on platforms like Patreon. The big thing here is you're providing a way for your fans to support you back because you've already supported them in one way, shape or form. It would be very impossible for you to set up a brand new business tomorrow, set up a Patreon and expect to get paid for it. But over time, as you begin to bring value to the community, as you begin to show up in ways that other people don't, people who follow you and become fans who know, like and trust you, many of them, not all of them, and maybe not even a majority, but a few will want to support you and that few go a very, very long way. Let's do some math really quick. If you have a thousand true fans and they're each paying you, I don't know, a dollar per episode of your podcast and you come out with four episodes per month. So that's, I don't know, four dollars per month, four times a thousand. That's a four thousand dollar monthly income. Let's say you have a thousand true fans paying you a hundred dollars a year. Well, there's a six figure business already, just a thousand people. No longer do you have to work for 45 years until you retire at 65 to enjoy the fruits of your labor. You can in fact have a smaller group of people that you could serve and get paid even more sooner. Now I'm not trying to put shame to anybody who's trying to work toward retirement at 65. Heck, I recommend doing it, but you can make money on the side or full time using passive income as a goal. Remember, that's the goal, but that's not the start. That's not the method to begin with. It starts with serving others first and then providing a way for them to pay you back, whether it's through purchasing information, whether it's because you're creating a product or a program, maybe it's because you have a larger audience and you're able to attract sponsors and advertisers, or your fans just want to support you because you've given them a lot of value already. Passive income is definitely possible. And I'd love to hear from you. Which one of these five strategies is the one that you are most excited about? Some are easier than others. Some won't work for some people. Others, you might be able to do all of them, but hopefully this provides a beacon of light for you and a place to at least start learning more about this kind of stuff. If you'd like to go deeper into any of these kinds of strategies, I'll link to some videos in the description below. Plus you could probably see some recommended here on the side of YouTube to help you go further into these things. Once again, my name is Pat Flynn here to help you make more money, save more time and help more people too. And ding that bell notification icon when you subscribe to make sure you don't miss other videos like this that can help you take your career, your business, your life to the next level. And if you like this video before you go, hit that thumbs up button. Thanks so much, I appreciate you. Now for more information and things that you can do from here, I'd recommend checking out this video right here. YouTube is recommending it to you for a very, very good reason. So make sure you click that video right there. Thanks so much, I appreciate you and as always, Team Flynn for the win.